in this video we are going to evaluate this expression which is four different terms the first two different terms are in the form a plus b multiplied by a minus b where a is equals to square root 5 plus square root 6 and b is equals to square root 7 now the second expression and third expression can be written as square root of 7 plus square root of 5 minus square root of 6 multiplied by square root of 7 plus square root of 6 minus square root of 5 this can be further written as square root of 7 plus square root of 5 minus square root of 6 multiplied by square root of 7 taking minus 1 common will flip these two values so square root of 7 minus square root of 5 minus square root of 6 now this is in the form of a plus b multiplied by a minus b where a is equals to square root 7 and b is equals to square root 5 minus square root 6 now we will use a plus b multiplied by a minus b is equals to a square minus b square identity formula to find the values of these expressions for the first two expressions we have a is equals to root 5 plus root 6 and b is equals to root 7 hence this gives us a square is root 5 plus root 6 square a square minus b square is root 7 square multiplied by for the third and fourth terms third and fourth terms we have a is equals to square root 7 and square root 7 square a square minus b is equals to square root 5 minus square root 6 square now this is in the form of a plus b whole square where a is equals to root 5 and b is equals to root 6 and this is in the form of a minus b whole square where a is equals to root 5 and b is equals to root 6 the formula for a plus b whole square is equals to a square plus b square plus 2ab and the formula for a minus b whole square is a square plus b square minus 2ab now using these formulas gives us root 5 square plus root 6 square plus 2 multiplied by root 5 multiplied by root 6 minus previously we have root 7 square root 7 square this multiplied by for the third and fourth terms we have root 7 square minus a minus b whole square is root 5 square root 5 square plus root 6 square 
minus 2 multiplied by root 5 multiplied by root 6. We can write root 5 square as 5 to the power of 1 by 2 to the whole power 2. This is in the form a to the power of m to the whole power n. According to the law of exponent, this is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by n. Hence, this becomes 5 to the power of 1 by 2 multiplied by 2. 2 in the numerator and denominator will cancel out to give 5 to the power of 1 which is 5. Hence, this gives us square root 5 square is 5 plus square root 6 square is 6 plus 2 square root 5 multiplied by 6 is 30 minus square root 7 square is 7. This multiplied by again square root 7 square is 7 minus square root 5 square is 5 plus 6 minus 2 multiplied by square root 5 multiplied by 6 is square root 30. This gives us 5 plus 6 minus 7 is 4 plus 2 square root 30 multiplied by 7 minus 5 minus 6 minus minus plus 2 multiplied by square root 30. This gives us 4 multiplied by 2 square root 30 multiplied by 7 minus 5 minus 6 is minus 4 minus 4 plus 2 multiplied by square root 30. We can write this edge 2 square root 30 plus 4 multiplied by 2 square root 30 minus 4. Now this is again in the form of a, my, a plus b multiplied by a minus b where a is equals to 2 square root 30 and b is equals to 4. This is equals to a square minus b square. Hence this gives us a square is 2 square root 30 square minus b square is 4 square. This gives us 2 square is 4 multiplied by square root 30 square is 30 minus 4 square is 16. This gives us 120 minus 16 which is equals to 104. This is our answer.